Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos. And today I have a tutorial and pattern for this V-waist mini skirt. Now, if you are someone that is advanced and you would like to make this pattern yourself, I actually have a video already up on my channel from last week where I showed you guys how I made this pattern and how I adjusted the prototypes to create the final pattern. If you would like to just buy the pattern and save yourself that hassle, I have it linked on my Etsy and that is the first link down below. Also, you guys know I like to reward those of you who are subscribed with the notifications turned on. So if you're watching this video early, that means you do get a 30% discount. Just use the code VWAST when you check out with this pattern to get 30% off and that will be active until tomorrow at midnight Eastern time. To see all the supplies needed for this project, just click the first link down below and you'll see that information in the listing description. Also, in no way is this pattern only limited to faux leather. Leather is actually a pretty hard material to work with, so there are tons of other easier materials that you can work with. I myself would like to make this in a denim fabric and do different colors for the panels of the skirt. I think that would be really cool. Also, if you're more of a beginner, you can totally use something a little bit easier to work with, like a heavier weight cotton. The opportunities are endless. But since I love working with faux leather, the directions are for faux leather. So for more tips on how to work with faux leather, I will put another video up here or on this side, not sure which side of the screen it is. But yeah, there will be more leather tips in that video if you have not worked with faux leather before. As always, I will have all of the equipment I used in this video linked down below. But without further ado, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get on with the tutorial. So if you'd like to learn how to sew this faux leather skirt, just keep watching. All right, so starting off, we of course are first going to print out our pattern. And when you print out, make sure you do so at 100% scale. Then just line up your pages right next to each other without overlapping the pages at all, and then tape it together. Next, you're gonna cut out your pattern, so choose your size and then cut on that respective line. I'm choosing to cut out a US size two. And make sure you do check out the size chart and the final garment measurements because this mini skirt, unlike a lot of mini skirts out there on the market, is not skin skin tight. It has a little bit of ease into it. So if you are someone that likes your mini skirts to be really tight, then you might wanna size down. Next, just cut out your pattern pieces. Make sure you're paying attention to the grain lines and the written description on each pattern piece so you know whether or not to cut out your shell fabric or your lining fabrics. Also pay attention to your center front facing piece because that one instructs you to cut it out on the fold. So don't forget to do that. And then I have a little tip for you guys. So if you're working with something with a bunch of panels that look very similar like this skirt, once I cut my pieces out, I do not remove the pattern piece from them just so that I can keep everything in order and not forget which piece is which. And then I line everything up just like I'm doing here so I don't lose track of if it's a side panel on the front or the side panel on the back. Keeping it organized like this just makes your life so much easier and it's foolproof. All right, and now it's time to sew the skirt together. So super simple, just sew along all of these vertical seam lines. And something to note, because you already have seam allowance added on this pattern, some of the raw edges will not line up. So that means the length of the raw edges may be different. However, the stitch line measurements will be the same. So just pay attention to that and keep that in mind. After you sew your first panels together, make sure you check the front and back of your seam to make sure there are no tension issues with your thread. Sometimes with working with faux leather, there will be loops on the back side of your fabric. And if you have this problem, just raise the tension a little bit. Now, before we go any further, I wanna teach you guys how to add a slit to this pattern because it is super easy. So first off, choose where you want your slit to be. I'm putting mine in the front right princess seam. 
place your two pieces right sides together, and then mark how long you want your slit to be. I recommend that your slit be between four inches on the shorter side to seven inches on the longer side. I decided to mark six inches, and do keep in mind once you hem this, you're gonna lose about an inch of that slit. Now just sew from the top of the skirt to the point that the slit starts. Then go to your ironing board and press open your seam allowance all the way down to the bottom of the skirt. It should look like this when you're done. And then you're also going to turn under the part where the slit is a second time. So from the bottom of the skirt all the way to where the slit begins, that's going to be folded twice and pressed. Now it should look like this when it is all nice and pressed. So flip it to the front side and we are going to begin sewing this in place. So you're going to sew around the slit opening. You're going to pivot at the top of the slit, sew across and then pivot back down and finish sewing the slit. Also, if you're top stitching this skirt, you can top stitch after you sew the slit. And then I'm also going to reinforce the slit opening. So let me show you all of that because it was kind of a lot. So I'm just hemming the opening of the slit, making sure that I catch the fabric on the back side. And then you can see here that I'm pivoting when I reach the top of the slit, sewing across, and then pivoting and sewing down the rest of the slit. So this is what it looks like when the slit is sewn and I've also top stitched that seam. The last thing after that to finish the slit is to reinforce the slit opening. I've just backstitched a bunch of times in two places, right where the slit starts to open and then right over that original stitch line that went across. And this will just keep the slit from splitting open when you wear it. After you sew all the vertical seams, this would be the point if you were working with fabric that was creasable, pressable, that you could iron on. Um, this would be the point where you would serge your seams and then iron your seams one way or the other. However, because we are using faux leather and we can't really press that well with our iron and it won't stay pressed well, we're going to top stitch all of these seams, which you could totally make into a design detail and use contrasting thread. I think this would have looked amazing with white thread, but Yep, I'm just top stitching on either side of all of the seams and I'm lengthening my stitch a little bit more to create that very aesthetically pleasing looking top stitch. Once we've finished all of these seams, it is time to jump over to our facing. Facing is super simple. Again, we're just gonna sew all of those vertical seam lines up, um, but before I do so, I'm going to serge or just finish however you want the sides of all of these pieces so that once we sew it, we can easily press everything open. And pressing the seams open like this will just help reduce the bulk later on when we sew this to the main part of the skirt. Then I'm also just going to serge or finish however you'd like the bottom edge of this facing as well. Now time to move on to the zipper. And again, because we're working with faux leather, this is a lot more complicated than it would be if you were working with something easier. So starting off, I'm gonna place my zipper on the skirt and notch where the stopper is. Then I'm going to place my skirt right sides together along that center back seam. And I'm just going to sew along from the bottom of the hem all the way up to where we notched it. Then I'm just gonna use some wonder tape that washes away with water to hold open that seam allowance. But I'm going to leave about six inches open at the top so that we can add our facing. I'm also going to use wonder tape on that center back seam to help hold the zipper in place. So I'm gonna place the zipper face down along the wonder tape and that's just gonna hold it in there while we sew on the facing. So next up, grab the facing that we've already created place it right sides together with the skirt and pin it along the waistline and the center back seam. First off, we are just gonna sew along the center back seam where I'm pointing to right now, and we are gonna sew that with a quarter inch seam allowance. Not a normal half inch seam allowance that you'd be using for the rest of the pattern, a quarter inch seam allowance. Once that is secure, we can go ahead and sew along the rest of this waistline. But before we do so, we're gonna grab that little center back seam area that we just sewed earlier, and we're going to twist it a half inch towards the body of the skirt. See how the facing is towards the body of the skirt, so now the zipper is laying nice and flat. Um, and we're gonna pin that in place and then sew the entirety of the waistline. 
And the reason why we did this is to create a nice clean edge where the facing and the top of the zipper is. Look how beautiful and clean that looks. Oh, it's amazing. Next up, just trim off the excess seam allowance along the waistline seam and pay special attention to that center front V area. Get nice and close to that seam line without clipping into the seam line. This way, when you flip the facing back towards the inside of the skirt, everything lays nice and flat. So just make sure it lays nice and flat before going to the next step. And the next step would be to top stitch along the waistline seam. Because we're using faux leather, this is necessary to get the waistline seam to lay flat. If you're using something again that's creasable, you could totally just understitch. But the top stitching does add a nice design detail. If you're understitching, this is how you do it. Have the body of the skirt on the left, the facing on the right, and the seam allowance underneath pointed towards the facing, and then stitch close about 1 8 of an inch away from that seam, making sure to catch the seam allowance underneath. Next, we're gonna finish off the zipper and secure it to the skirt by just top stitching around the zipper. So just top stitch around the zipper. I find it's easier when you get towards the bottom of the zipper to pull the zipper closed to get that little section. And then when I get past the little section down here, I open it again, just so the head of the zipper is not in the way, but yep just top stitch around the zipper like I'm doing here. After we insert our zipper, we are finally ready to hem our skirt. Now we have one inch hem allowance, so choose what you wanna do with that. Personally, I'm just gonna fold it up one inch and then sew that down. You could also do two turns of a half inch and then sew it down, but because leather is bulky, I'm going to do the one inch and one turn to reduce that bulk. Also make sure you try on the skirt beforehand to see if you wanna shorten it any more than one inch. Then finally, just add a hook and eye closure to the top of the zipper and you are done. All right guys, so that is how you make this faux leather V-waist mini skirt. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, feel free to hit that thumbs up button because that is the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My handle is Kiana Bonolo. Don't forget that the pattern is the first link down below if you are interested and Make sure you are subscribed and have the notifications turned on so you don't miss out on discounts in the future. And if you're just interested in my content on my channel. Anyways, I think that is everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.